Roll, roll, roll. Roll home with the chigo. What are the other words? Is my voice, I need to do warm up then. <clears throat> da 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 da. I got a lazy eye, I gotta start again. I'm back in the delicious test kitchen for another episode of Nailed It. And for this challenge, I've been given an iconically Australian snack, the ultimate footy fair. That was a better throw. The Chico Roll. A Chico Roll, what is it? Well, I've only tasted it twice in my life. First was 20 years ago when I moved to Australia and my younger brother used to get it as a snack and I would steal a bite. And then, otherwise it was last week when I tried to recreate them. Okay, so I've fried one up. It's nice and crispy, cooled it down a bit. Taste test. It's actually pretty yum. We've got some vegetables, which is carrot, celery, um, cabbage, onion, green beans. We've got flour, water, cooked barley, beef, animal fat, just mystery fat, um, wheat cereal, textured soy protein, salt, sugar, acidity regulators, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, whatever that is, uh, spices, which I think is curry powder, and we've got some emulsifiers, flavor enhancer, colors, 102 and 110. I love 110, it's my favorite coloring. Um, okay, so if we dissect it a bit, we can see there's quite a good consistency of all those ingredients. I can't see any of the beefs. So there's obviously only a little bit of the beef in there. Mostly cabbage, mostly carrot, um, and then obviously something has been thickening it up, so some flour or like a roux. And the pastry is kind of like an egg roll or a spring roll pastry, flour, egg, water, pretty basic. And then it can crisp up really nicely once it's deep fried. So, the Chico roll. So we're gonna start with the filling first. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because we're gonna thicken it with a roux and then chill it down so we can get a perfect form of a Chico roll and it's not gonna get all flimsy when we deep fry it. So instead of starting off with some oil, I'm gonna go in with some rendered lamb fat. And so we're gonna start off with our cabbage and onion and just shred them as finely as possible. Two and a half cups of shredded cabbage does the trick. And one onion very thinly sliced. And as always, you can be there, that's fine. <laughs> And as always with some onions, adding some salt now. Celery, we're just gonna finely chop. And with the carrots, uh, you can see inside, they're not massive, so we kinda wanna have maybe half centimeter pieces. And the amount of carrot in there's probably only half a carrot's worth. And there are some green beans in here somewhere, but there aren't very many, so we're only gonna go in with five or six green beans. So we've cooked that down for a few minutes so everything's softened but not coloured. And so when tasting that chico roll, instantly there's definitely a bit of curry powder. So we're gonna go in some curry powder and crumble in a chicken stock cube for some extra flavour punch. And then we're going to go in with some beef mince, but just a small amount, because you can see in that chico roll, there's really not much beef mince there. Fun fact about a chico roll, there is no chicken. There never has been any chicken, but it's called a chico roll. Even though I was born in another country, I've lived here for 20 years, and I even know. Roll, 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 roll. Roll home with the chico. Roll, roll, roll. Roll home with the chico. I don't know all the words. And finally, in with some cooked barley, which is another major ingredient in the chico roll. So to thicken up that mixture once we form our chico roll, I'm just gonna make a basic roux. So in with some butter, and in with equal parts flour. Dump, mix, cool, pastry. Put in, roll, fry, done. That's the recipe. Okay, so then when that's cooked out a little bit, I'm gonna add some water. So what we've got here is a thick paste, and then we're gonna mix our cabbage mixture into there and that's gonna ensure that once we've chilled it, we're gonna have a nice solid shape. And now vigorously mix them together. So into a bowl and we'll just chill that completely. So for the chico roll pastry, to get it nice and crisp and looking like this, um, when I was testing, I've gone with a wonton wrapper type of recipe. So the chico roll was definitely inspired by an egg roll or a spring roll, like an Australian egg roll or Chinese spring roll. And so we're just going in with some flour, egg, water, and salt. And then we're gonna roll it really thinly and roll up the chico roll. 
Okay, so that pastry is now nice and smooth, come together. Just give it a rest in the fridge for at least half an hour. So into a bowl, no need for plastic wrap, just get a cloth and cover it over. Okay, so the pastry has rested a bit. We'll just go with a very well floured bench top. I'll try and do it Lucy style. Keep both sides really well floured. So size of a chico roll, I need to get it to about 14 and a half centimeters is the full length and about four and a half centimeters thick. So we'll go for a square shape for the pastry and then we'll roll it up. So trim off all the sides so we have a bit more of a perfect shape. And now we've just got that cooled mixture and you can see the benefit in cooling it down is I can completely mold the mixture to the shape that I want. So you're gonna to have to get your hands dirty and kind of make a bit of a sausage shape for the mixture. What I found when testing as well is by brushing it with a bit of oil now, we create a few defined layers of the pastry as it's rolling and that way it also helps it fry and become crispy all over with the little bubbles. And try and get this as tight as possible. So each time when rolling, I found that pulling it backwards and stretching the pastry helped it maintain that shape. And then when you get to about halfway, we're gonna fold over the sides, trim them up if need to. So you see here on the chica roll, dusty hands, it's quite a rippled effect everywhere. And obviously with our pastry here, it's quite smooth. So what I found when testing, I got a brand new, so this has never been used, just a brush. And then if you push along the edges, you'll get this kind of dotted effect. And what that's gonna do is help when it fries, that these little bubbles are gonna be able to come out as you would in a normal chico roll. I'm here to Lucy to help me roll some more. That way we can have a proper fry up. Okay, Lucy, like me, you weren't born in Australia, but have you had a chico roll before? Never. Never? I actually thought it was called a choco roll <laughs> until yesterday. Okay, well, I think you're gonna have to taste the one I make and then the original as well. Absolutely. Okay, so we're ready to fry. Got the oil at 180. We'll try and moderate it at that heat. I'm gonna fry these one at a time and we're gonna fry it until it's golden and crispy. It's beautiful and golden. And remember, always drain on a rack. Paper towel is the enemy of crispiness. Okay, so here we have the original Chico roll, my Chico roll. Um, I think I've nailed it, but there's only one way to know if it has been truly nailed, Lucy. Step with me. <laughs> Blind testing, okay, here's the bench. All right. I'm gonna give you one piece and then another. Thank you. Excited. Try this first, no sauce. No chicken and there we salt. Go. Honest, okay. honest, honest comparison, there we go. That was nice and crunchy. Second. Mmm. This one has got, this is tastier in the middle. But maybe, I, by the sound of it, not as crunchy as not the first. Not quite as crunchy in the, yeah. But so. you would you say that the two are similar enough to be considered a nailed Absolutely. recipe? Absolutely. Great. <laughs> this one. Oh yes, perfect. Nailed it. Am I good? You can take Which these off now. Uh, mine. Oh. Original mine. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. I've got the best one. <laughs> so for this recipe and more, head to delicious.com.au and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.